Despite hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars, chronic overcrowding is still a huge problem in the Territory's remote Indigenous communities. Large families are sleeping in leaky tents, while more than 20 people are packed into some two-bedroom houses. A government housing program is alleviating the problem, but many people fear they'll be stuck in overcrowded houses forever. James Glenday reports from Maningrida, 500 kilometres east of Darwin. Maningrida is a tale of two communities. On the old side of town, about 20 people sleep in tents and a caravan under a shelter. We're not living good house, we're living outside. Around the corner, 23 people, including 12 children, live in this two-bedroom home. The James family say they're desperate to move. Because too crowded, big mob kids, like, you know, when kids might get sick, you know. And this is where they want to go. A new half-built government subdivision of 110 houses on the other side of town. Those in, in greatest need and particularly those in the most overcrowded houses uh, will be top of, of that list, that prioritised list. The houses are part of a $1.7 billion Indigenous housing scheme. 934 new homes will be built and nearly 3,000 will be refurbished across the Territory over the next 10 years. Most locals say things are improving here in Maningrida, but many are frustrated by the time it's taking to refurbish and build homes. There's growing conflict between those with a new house and those without. Some are worried they'll live in an overcrowded home forever. Maybe, I don't know if it's going to be changing by next five or four years' time. The tragedy is that we could have provided so much more for the amount of money that's been spent. The government says all remote communities have a chronic shortage of houses and it'll take many years until everyone has a place to call their own. James Glenday, ABC News, Manningreeder.